this 20-year-old young man, really a kid, was living with a gun and he died with it. A raging battle on a Winter Haven street, two cars side by side, firing dozens of bullets. Tonight, a 20-year-old is dead and the sheriff is promising justice. Thanks for joining us on 10 Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Miranda Parnell. Tonight, we start with the developing story in Polk County where that 20 year old is dead and four other people are in the hospital from a rolling shootout. It started early this morning at a bowling alley in Winter Haven. From there, deputies say two cars drove down Buckeye Loop Road and when they turned onto Martin Luther King Boulevard, deputies say they began to shoot at each other while the cars were still moving. Our Miguel Octavio shares what happened. About 1.13 a.m. Sunday. A group of young men, kids, left the bowling alley. Four men left that bowling alley in their Camry, including a 20-year-old. He would die minutes later. They were driving their car toward Martin Luther King Boulevard. On the road, deputies say at least two men followed them in a dark-colored sedan, eventually pulling even with the car and shooting at the men inside. We're still counting bullet holes. There's dozens of shots fired. The two cars kept firing shots until the Camry drifted to the side of the road and stopped. And what we find is not good. Three men, including two 17-year-olds, found critically hurt, and deputies found a 20-year-old dead. Young men aren't supposed to die and get shot up by other young men. Inside the Camry, deputies say they found marijuana, cash, and at least four guns. And in the passenger seat, they say they found the 20-year-old dead with eight gunshot wounds and an AR type of weapon. But a man from the sedan, the other car, is also in the hospital. The, the dark-colored car continued to flee west on Martin Luther King, pulled up to the Winter Haven Hospital, and dropped off a person who was shot as well. Deputies are still looking for that sedan and the reason for why this happened. But Sheriff Judd is promising to solve this case. We're going to do everything we can to get justice for the victims and hold the suspects accountable. And deputies say there was an argument at the bowling alley, but don't know if it's tied to this shooting. They're asking anyone with information to help out, and you can remain anonymous by reporting information through Crime Stoppers.